thank you for tuning in to Lakefront News. Thanks for spending your day with Daylin. I'm Daylin Mann. We begin today with an exciting appearance coming to Olu. A famous actor is coming to Olu this month. The Salazar Escobedo School of Mass Communications and Theater will host guest speaker Jesse Borrego. Lakefront reporter Kevin Romine has the details. Theory Auditorium has held a number of wonderful events. However, this free event held on October 28, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. at Our Lady of the Lake University will be a first for Jesse Borrego. Known for his inspiring work in the cultural indie film Blood In, Blood Out, Borrego has been on the forefront of Chicano art for a long time. When asked about his influences, he had nothing but praise. He actually referred me to the Incarnate Word Theater Department, and that's how I got into higher education, into college. Uh, and it just opened up an entire world because then I saw myself, you know, as uh, as culturally viable, you know, in American society. And Mr. Borrego is not the only one who's excited about his appearance at Olu. Student Annabelle Vasquez had... Very excited for him to come because I believe it will bring more eyes to Olu as well as more cultural awareness to the campus. Despite graduating from Incarnate Word in San Antonio, Borrego had a lot of influence from his peers at Olu. And that's kind of how I got uh, reinvigorated into the local San Antonio theater scene, which included Our Lady of the Lake, uh, 24th Street Experiment, had a very strong theater program at that time. So a lot of the people that I was learning from were from Our Lady of the Lake. Jesse Borrego is one of four Latinos recently invited into the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. But despite the accolades, he still remains humble. So as much as it's become a big, you know, uh, uh, cultural, you know, cult film because of the subject matter, you know, I look beyond that and I go, yeah, but look at what we were representing. Again, an evening with Jesse Borrego will take place on October 28th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. at Theory Auditorium on the Olu main campus. Admission is free, but seating may be limited, so get there early. Reporting from the Lakefront News, I'm Kevin Romine. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and one San Antonio nonprofit is offering bras, wigs, and services. Our Lakefront reporter, Melissa Aguirre, tells us more about how you or someone you know can, get, can take advantage of their services. SLU, which stands for Support Lending for Emotional Well Being, is a nonprofit agency helping uninsured, underinsured, and low income women who are currently fighting cancer. SLU is the only agency of its kind in Bear and surrounding counties, serving over 700 clients and providing 10,000 services per year at no cost. Once you walk in that door, everything is free to you. You don't pay anything. They offer medical massages, lymphatic drainage therapy, patient navigation, transportation, bras, prosthetics, wigs, a food pantry, and boutique. Client Linda Perez said the long commute to SLU is worth the drive. I live way on the south side. So this is not close to me, but it's worth my while to come here. Linda was referred to SLU by her oncologist. She found me to be depressed, and she said, I'm going to send you to Olga Young. It's SLU Wellness Program, and they have counselors that can help you deal with your ordeal. Kathy Belmonte, patient navigator for SLU, says they assist clients from being diagnosed to the end of their primary treatment. They navigate clients or patients from the time they're diagnosed with cancer until they complete their primary treatment, which would be either um, surgery, chemo, and radiation. Crystal Briones is a certified mastectomy fitter, and she assists the clients with any bras, prosthetics, and wigs they may need. Um, what I do for the ladies is I go ahead and I offer them uh, any kind of mastectomy bras they need. I fit them for the prosthesis. Um, also wigs, if they need wigs, scarves, I help them in that area too and everything's free. SALU is a nonprofit organization and is income based. They can pre-qualify you in person or over the phone. Director Olga Young founded the agency in 2003 after being diagnosed with cancer herself. If you would like more information about SALU, please visit their website at SLUwellness.org. Reporting for Lakefront News, I'm Melissa Aguirre. Texas has recently passed a law that bans abortion after six weeks. This is before most women even know they're pregnant. 
This law has stirred up a bunch of mixed reactions from the general public. Law um, that has taken effect, and the reason for that is because it is saving about 130 lives a day. In local news, Planned Parenthood's locations in Texas have started offering free morning after pills in response to the near abortion ban. Spokesperson Mara Posada said in response to the inquiry, we realize the need to reduce unintended pregnancies is crucial now more than ever. These over-the-counter medications are used to help combat unwanted pregnancies in women and are supposed to be taken one to three days after conception. These clinics have now decided to offer these pills for free and will extend this offer through November 30th at Planned Parenthood's five San Antonio locations. How young is too young to get kids involved in competitive sports? Lakefront reporter Daisy Cantwell investigates how getting involved in club sports at an early age has long-term benefits. Rob Cantwell played club sports growing up and says it's because of club sports that have prepared him for his leadership role at USAA. I think playing club sports uh, not only prepares you to develop the skills specific for the sport you want to play, but it also develops you as a person. Club sports are organized groups targeted for kids as young as 4 to 18. They help promote and develop interest in a particular sport. Club sports also provide opportunity for children to learn skills for school, help with relationships and future careers. Um, I think it definitely uh, heightened my teamwork and communication skills, not only on the court but off. So whenever I'm like doing a project for school and we really have to work as a team and make sure like everyone gets their ideas down, it's really helped me. Kendra Grimm, a high school student athlete, has been playing club sports since the age of four. She explains the importance of how organization and good time management has been helpful when being outside of club sports. Cantwell says club sports made such an impact on his life that he now coaches. You have to understand what dedication and commitment and loyalty is, and that helps you later in life when, you prepare, when you're preparing for a job. Uh, it helps you understand teaming and leadership and what you have to sacrifice to be successful. Reporting for Lakefront News, I'm Daisy Cantwell. In some exciting sports news, the women's golf team won a tournament for the first time in Olu's history. These lovely ladies placed first in the Queen of the Hill Country Classic hosted by Shriner University. The whole team, as well as the coaching staff, is bursting with pride as they make history for the women's golf program. We send our luck to these saints as they travel to Victoria, Texas on October 8th to participate in the University of Houston Victoria's Fall Classic. Keep up the great work, ladies, and continue to represent Olu on the green. In other sports news, volleyball received five votes in the 2021 NAIA Women's Volleyball Coaches Top 25 poll. This marks the first time since 2018 the Saints have been included in the poll, and, his, and this achievement has generated some major buzz among our competitors. Volleyball has done some amazing work so far, and I can honestly say that we have nowhere to go but up. As a member of the Saints volleyball team, I am so thankful for these awesome girls and amazing coaching staff. I'm so proud of the work we have put in and can't wait to celebrate our future achievements. With confetti raining down on Our Lady of the Lake University, runners from all over Texas made their way down to Olu's 5K run and walk. Lakefront reporter Sydney Rodriguez brings us more information. Our Lady of the Lake University had their annual confetti 5K run and walk. Runners of all ages came from all over Texas to participate in the event. Race organizer and director of campus and community engagement at Arley of the Lake University, Elizabeth Longoria, explains why 5K run and walks are beneficial. Every university should have a 5K, um, especially to benefit their students, uh, you know, for scholarships. It's fun. Um, there's a lot of people that participate. Avid runner and data entry clerk at Fay Webb Elementary in Corpus Christi, Angie Trevino had this to say about running. There's nothing like the feeling of getting out there and run, and sometimes it's even better when it's for a good cause. Even during a pandemic, the energy and good vibes of the 5K were present. I'm so excited to get back in the 5K world out there again. Runners were warmed up and ready to start their runs and hope to beat their run times. I met back with Trevino after her run, and this is what she had to say. I got slow, but then eventually I sped up. Uh, I didn't finish at the top three, but hey, that's okay. My goal was just to finish. If you miss the 5K, don't worry. The next Confetti 5K run and walk will be held next April. Reporting for Lakefront News, I'm Sydney Rodriguez. Spooky season is upon us. 
and Lakefront reporter Annabelle Vasquez spoke with Olu students to hear some popular options for Halloween costumes. Many can agree dressing up for Halloween is one of the fun things to do, especially as a college student. Our Lady of the Lake student, Lorena Mendoza, says she doesn't follow the crowd when selecting her costume. I don't think I'm looking for costume trends, but I think I'm looking for the creativity in an outfit. And I think the creativity makes the costume look nicer. According to Cosmetalian, many costume trends this year include dressing up from popular shows, Squid Game, Gossip Girl, Wanda, Lit Vision, and even Olivia Rodrigo. Olu student Evan Velasquez shares his excitement to dress up this year. Yes, I am planning to dress up. Uh, I know my what I'm dressing up as is a little basic. I'm, I'm going to be Spider-Man, you know, Miles Morales. Hello. As Halloween quickly approaches, make sure you get your spook on. Reporting for Lakefront News, I am Annabelle Vasquez. Well, this has been your Lakefront News. Thank you for joining me and continuing to get your scopes all day, every day from Dalen Mann. Bye.